From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Lake. It's a big early morning of early mornings in LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021, which will pay most viewers of this channel upwards of $15,000 from this $3.5 trillion recon which passed. Cluster number one has hazard pay and elder care. But Bob Casey is looking to add in provisions. Maxine Waters wants to add in $25,000. I'll explain her add-on. Then cluster number two's checks passed home repairs and Casey wanted to add in, in $250 billion on top of that. Cluster number three passed. And then we'll go over all the incredible details of stuff we never saw coming with the surprise as a potential deal could be in the works with Joe Manchin. This is a shocker. A deal with Joe Manchin is looming, and what this has to do with is climate. Then, June loan debt, more student loan debt now forgiven, and then the surprise as your cola is going up. But it ain't just going up for one time, because guess what? In this stimulus, I'm gonna explain to you how you're gonna get big sums of money and no less than two other rises thereafter. We'll be going into a big morning a big early morning with a lot of details about what's happening with the incredible amounts of money that are in the fourth stimulus. And guess what? The details heat up and they're going to heat up right here because we got a big early morning's broadcast. The toast is toasted. The butter is butter. And I'm here. You're here. And it's time for early mornings. All right. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day across the planet. Uh, and it's a great day here, also along the coast. So much happening in a big day that is all upon us, and the excitement of Bound is literally there. We have the incredible details about this big uh, deal in the works for your recon. And this is with three items at issue. Climate, prescription medication, and the price tag. And we now see that they can get this deal done. Whoa, where did this come from? I have the latest details. This is on top of the $3.5 trillion recon that will pay most viewers of this channel upwards of $15,000. I'll show you in this recording. We have viewers now getting $35,000, excuse me, $36,000 this last week. What? Yeah, I'm going to show you how to get those big sums of money. We got fifth stimulus, and we got those IRS monthly stimulus checks. Breaking news about that as well. It's a big early morning's broadcast. It's just starting right now, so subscribe. A 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, 2 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. We got shows all throughout the morning. Coming up next is early is overnight's crypto, and then morning's countdown at 7 a.m. Don't miss that hit show. And then at 9 a.m., I'm back live with you with Mornings LA. When you look at this recon, that's $3.5 trillion across the board. What's important for you to remember is that the recon pays viewers this channel upwards of about $15,000. The $15,000 of this recon is because of the three clusters that are deliciousness. And let's go over the first cluster, hazard pay, and up to $4,000 of elder care. They got hazard pay in there, brought in the eligibility of hazard pay, and that's the earned income tax credit, and then expanding the amount of money for those essential workers. They got $4,000 of elder care in there. They got $4,000 to care for young children. They got free money to repair your home. Yes, if the home is in a low-income community, free money to repair the home. College grants to the university, to the student, and also the Pell's Grant Band, tax-free. $51,000 of monthly stimulus checks got in there as well. This is the CTC, the child tax credit. Broaden the eligibility and increase the amount of money. Up to $300 every month every year, up to 18 years that that family is low income, and that's per child, $52,000, $51,000. Wow. Then they got money in there for bikes, cars, and trucks, all electric, all U.S. auto manufactured. First, first up to 15% of the purchase price of a new electric bike, then $7,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, and a little bit more 
if it's for business use and if it's a truck. There you go. It's a cluster of three items that pay you about $15,000, but there's add-ons that are heating up. And the first add-on comes from Maxine Waters, the illustrious leader here, legislator from Los Angeles. She's proposing to add in $25,000. And those $25,000 is by broadening a, is by doing a new add-on that would pay you hard cold cash of $25,000 to go buy a first home. Wow. How do I think they're going to do this? They're probably going to do this by taking uh, the, the program and putting it in somewhere in the escrow of the transaction. When you go to buy a house and the house is in escrow, the federal government will stack in and give $25,000 to the seller is how I presume they're going to do it. Wonderful, incredible, great news. Let's turn to the second cluster of checks and here we go. Remember, all these clusters apply to you. This is for you if you're on SSI, SSDI, single individuals, married couple, no children, with children, it doesn't matter, red states, blue states, you qualify for about $15,000 across these three clusters. Clusters. Cluster number two includes home repairs and paid family leave. More home repairs, actually. They got paid family and family medical leave in there. How much is this? $1,700 a week if you make $80,000 or more per year. Split in half. Let's say you make $35,000 a year. That would be $800 a week. Let's split in half a little bit more. $400 a week if you make $15,000 a year. They got child care programs in there, household tax credits, more money for seniors like dental vision. See that in the third cluster coming up a second. And then they got money in there for pre-kindergarten and tuition-free community college. But they also got checks in this second cluster for weatherizing your home. Wow. Definitely needed to weatherize your home. I always say, always remember to weatherize your home, uh, especially if the moderate Democrats are on the roof. <laughs> As I always say, keep the moderate Democrats out of the House and wherever possible, keep the moderate Democrats out of the Senate. There we go. In a second, we're going to go to the third cluster of checks, but I got my second add on. And who wants to add on now something into the recon? This is Bob Casey. Santa Bob Casey wants to add in $250 billion of additional money to seniors. Wait a second. I thought we already heard somebody about seniors. Yeah, this is an addition to this. So Bob Casey, who of course is a 61-year-old from Pennsylvania and Democrat, proposes to increase home health care and other services for seniors and people on disability. Wow, this is great news. Giving big money to cities and counties and states so that they can offer you home health care programs. To do two benefits, one, get you great medical assistance, totally free, and second, to alleviate burdens on your son or daughter who may be staying out of the workplace to care for you because the medical bills are too expensive. He wants to allow those, those children, if they want to go work, get back to work, and that alleviates labor shortage. Wow. Now that is an add-on. You're going to see a lot of stuff in this recording about seniors, uh, just a ton of things in this recording. But let's turn to the third cluster that has money in their past so far for seniors. We've also a world exclusive about uh, Medicare, courtesy of Bob Casey again. They're going to do under the third, in the third cluster passes free school meals for all checks, checks for cheaper prescription medication, checks for farmers, checks for elections, checks for clean energy, checks for workers, checks for seniors like eligibility age, dental, vision, and hearing care checks, and lowering eligibility age for Medicare. Well, that brings us to the world exclusive. The world exclusive is that this channel is now hearing that Bob Casey in that third cluster is looking to drop the eligibility age for Medicare from age 65 to 60. Wow, that's a world exclusive. You're, exclusive. you're only here on this channel. And yes, Casey is 61. So there you go. What's the third cluster? The third add-on being proposed to be added to these clusters? Of course, that IRS monthly stimulus check. And the great news as we go into a weekend is that we have the number one legislator on board saying that he wants to add that monthly stimulus check. Who is it? It's Bernie Sanders. It's Chuck Schumer. Chuck Schumer is the guy who determines when things are called for a vote. Let's go over all the details of how Chuck calls things for a vote and where things are added in there. You have three places where these add-ons could be added into the legislation. Two on the House and one on the Senate. First, we have a recon currently in the subcommittee of the House. It's not a law yet. It's not bill yet. They can add it in there before it becomes a House bill. Then, let's say we're looking at the House bill, it's still not in there, they can amend the House bill before they call the vote on the House side. Finally, the most important part of the equation is the Senate. 
whenever anything is passed in the House, it goes to the Senate, and then they look at it and they say, I don't like it, I need to make changes. That becomes the two-day event called the Votorama. I know, it sounds like a B-52 song. It sounds like, you know, the, the disco era, out of control. But just imagine Mitch with bell bottoms, and you're totally fine. Mm -hmm. It's the, it's the Votorama. It's a two-day event at the very end where the senators have two days of voting where they make proposed changes to whatever's given to them from the House. And those changes are what are called amendments. Who determines the Votorama? Chuck Schumer. Who determines when things are called for a vote during the Votorama? Chuck Schumer. Who calls things for a vote? Chuck Schumer. Who wants to add a monthly stimulus check provision, IRS stimulus check provision into the recon? Chuck Schumer's office, says Debbie Applegate, and also, Lor and also Donnie's wife a week earlier. Now let's go to the incredible great news, which you may have seen, which is this channel has now delivered a whopping two, excuse me, three million calls of advocacy. Here's a message that came in from the chief of staff to the number one senator to get you the recon. And that chief of staff says that this channel has now surpassed all prior numbers in delivering advocacy to Congress for that inclusion of that monthly stimulus check provision. If it's a little bit too hard to read the graphic, let me read, to, read it for you. They now have in total between the Congressional Senatorial Offices received more contacts of advocacy from L.A. Late than the number of signatures on the American petition. Everyone's amazed by the outpouring of touching stories. Now they have more of what has been called just a bunch of signatures. What they now have is a better understanding of how the Americans are actually trying to make it through the pandemic. They have heartbreaking stories and they have the voice of the people across the nation has been too loud to be ignored. And here comes a personal message to me in the final sentence of this conversation with the chief of staff and a viewer of this channel. Please continue your encouragement, Ally, for the continued advocacy. As you, Ally, the professional voice of the people, you have become. Don't stop until it's become a law, and we will not stop. So continue to advocate across the board until we're over the finish line. We got a lot coming up in the second half of this video. Boy, do we ever on a big morning's broadcast. We have uh, one viewer getting $36,000 from Third Stimulus. We have the big exciting details. As your cola raise is now going up 5 to 6%, but that is not the only lift. You're going to get two more lifts on your benefits in the next 12 months. I'll explain the incredible great news. Student loan debt is now being forgiven, and one viewer learned yesterday, nearly 24 hours ago, during the live airing of one of the shows that his debt had been forgiven, he did not know it. You're going to see his reaction in today's video. It's just knee-jerking, uh, heart-jerking. It is absolutely a wonderful story. And finally, is a possible deal in the works? With three items that need to be fixed, prescription medication, climate, and the price tag, is it possible the total recon is going to get a deal and that that deal is right in front of us? Oh boy, we got an exciting, <laughs> we got an exciting second half of this video coming up. But first, I want you to not miss a single thing. And if you haven't gotten money from this channel, please do so. Need a little assistance? Here is a little bit about the community page. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds as early mornings ally continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m.
Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Light. And the excitement continues, continues right now on Early Mornings LA Light, live from Santa, well, direct from Santa Monica in a big morning's broadcast. I'm excited if you're joining me because, boy, we got a recon that pays upwards of $15,000, but that recon is far from over. With now provisions being proposed to be added in there, I have all the latest details in this recording. In the second half of this recording, we have a lot of surprises that no one saw coming. Those surprises are amounting to a lot. Number one, that Joe Manchin it may be possibly inking a deal with the progressives on that recon. What is the what is the big deal break? What is the big deal at work? I'll have the latest and early mornings broadcast. Then we go to student loan debt forgiveness. As more debt is now being forgiven, what happened? I have all the latest details of how this unfolded. You'll see it in this recording. Then COLA, COLA getting raised, and boy, no one saw this coming. This 5 to 6% raise is deliciousness, but it's not your only raise. And guess what? I got more money on top of that coming up in this recording. We'll be seeing one viewer who got $36,000, and I'll show you how to get more money. And that more money is right now. <laughs> More money, more money, and it's all going to come up in this morning's broadcast because the toast is toasted, the butter is butter, and I'm here, you're here, and we're just getting started, and this is Early Mornings LA. So subscribe, 400,000 subscribers to YouTube record. I wish you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Coming up next is Overnight Scripto, and then we're into Early Mornings, and Mornings Countdown at 6 a.m. at 7 a.m. Then Mornings LA live on air. Subscribe, like this video, and consider becoming a member. And with that, let's go to the big surprise, and it all came from the president. The president has now announced more student loan debt has been forgiven. Let's go over all the details of what happened. That student loan debt forgiveness was not something we saw happening, and boy, was this deliciousness. The details are the following, that the student loans is uh, it's sort of a half a graphic. There it goes. <laughs> it just didn't want to stop. Uh, the student loan debt forgiveness is not something anyone saw happening. The president had initially forgave people's student loan debt if they became disabled after graduation. That was about a month ago. Then this week, the president forgave more student loan debt. What did he st forgive student loan debt for? He forgave two rounds of student loan debt thereafter. And let's go over all the details of what this student loan debt looks like. The first um, item that he forgave of student loan debt is for people who go into the nonprofit sector for uh, an incredible 10 years after graduation. Then he also forgave a student loan debt for individuals who go into working for the state, local, or federal government for 10 years after graduation. Well, this was a big surprise to one viewer who did not know it was themselves. What happened? That one viewer um, was watching Morning's Countdown yesterday, and he is a federal a prison guard individual, and that viewer was just shocked to learn that suddenly his debts had been forgiven. What happened? Well, he was in the live chat, and he said, is that me? I said, what do you do? I said, I'm a federal prison guard, and I've been that for over 10 years after graduation. I said, sir, your debts are forgiven. He said, what? I said, yes, your debts are now forgiven. And that is an incredible story. The president is, meantime, proposing to do $10,000 of student loan debt forgiveness for everyone else. Boy, we're just getting started. So that is that part of the surprising details overnight. Then we have a big one, which is more money, possibly, for the recon. And what's going on with that possible deal? Well, a possible deal is potentially in the works for the recon with three items at issue. The price tag the climate, and the prescription medication. The moderates want the price tag from $3 trillion into $2 trillion. I'm going to go over that in a second. Kristen Sinema needs to get the prescription medication modified. I'll go over that as well. But Joe Manchin needs the climate to be changed. If you go onto Joe Manchin's social media platform, it's all talking about climate. He's very big on climate. He's very big about his home state, which is West Virginia. Well, someone in the White House came up with a brilliant idea. In these three clusters... There is 
one section that provides money for climate. Now, what's climate? One viewer yesterday said, Ella, you did such a great job explaining what climate is because I never understood it till you said it. Climate is not that air is clean and the sky is blue and the, and the ocean is, is, is aquamarine. That's not what climate is. Climate has to do with use of energy like electric vehicles or coal or fossil fuels or natural uh, gas. That's what that's what climate is. It's a little bit more elaborate than just, you know, what's the temperature today? Uh, and Joe, uh, Joe Manchin's state has a lot of industries, but one of the biggest industries in the state is fossil fuels. So someone at the White House came up with an absolutely mind-blowing great idea of how to get Joe Manchin to create the recon. Take one of the existing provisions that is in the past clusters that is about climate, that provides big money for climate, and modify the language so that Joe Manchin's industries in his state can qualify to apply for the money. This is a big one. How does this work? The White House has proposed to change some of the language on the recon so far past that concerns coal and natural gas power plants so that um, fossil fuel providers in the state of West Virginia Joe Manchin State, can apply for it and potentially get billions of dollars in financial incentives for clean energy. Whoa, that is a brilliant way to get things done. That you basically see someone whose big issue is climate, modify the language about the climate, modify it so his home, for, so his big industries back at home qualify for the business. And how can he not agree to it? <laughs> how can he not agree to it? It's, 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 it's about as easy as cake. What are you going to go? He's going to not say no. And then you go back to his home state and say, hey, you're his biggest campaign donors. He's going to give you, he, I can give you a way to get big money off, off this recon. And he doesn't want to give it to you. No, no. He, he, he's going to sign on to this. Unless something in the, in the news reporting is not accurate from the source. I'm not, of course, the source. It's not my source. It's another, another publication. This is, this is big. Pelosi went in on this, and she really became one of the big advocates for our recon in the last 48 hours. She said this recon will get done because it must get done. That's Pelosi. <laughs> That's the new Pelosi. Um, yeah. Then um, she talked about the importance of the climate and that the climate is really key to the finish line. Well, apparently it is right at the moment. She says climate is central. The central to the recon is the climate part of the legislation. We will have it in there because it's part of the climate provisions. Then Senator Alex Padilla, Democrat of California, who replaced the vice president as our senator in California. He's formerly from Los Angeles, a city council person. He said, no climate, no deal. He said that this is big. So that's the first way to get the recon done. The second way is to change the prescription medication provision with Kristen Sinema. The third way to get this recon done is modifying the amount of the recon so that we get from four trillion down to three point from three point five trillion down to two trillion. How do you do it? I'm going to show you that right now. It's very very simple. The 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 end result is the way you do it is you shorten the duration of how long the programs run. And who's been reporting this? Well, me, for over two months. Maybe it's almost three months. Over the last three months, I've been telling you about certain dates. I was not ever sure that a lot of the dates were accurate for how long these programs were running. Now we have confirmation the last 48 hours. I was right for all these reports. First, in July, Bernie Sanders went into a meeting to do a recon and negotiations before we even had a recon, asked for $7 trillion. And at the time, I told you, I, th I think, but I didn't know, that maybe his programs were 20 years. We now have confirmation they were, because the president reportedly wanted them to run many generations. He wants, he president wanted these programs to run far after he's left to this planet, uh, many, many years after he's in office. He wanted the programs to run for generation after generation not going to happen. The, the Democrats said we're not doing $7 trillion for 20-year programs. So Bernie said, I'll cut the duration. Over the next few weeks, I said, I don't know how long these programs are right now, but I have a sense they're 10-year programs. Well, Chalapal came out in the last 40 hours and said, uh, we can cut the programs because they're currently 10 years. There we go. So we now know they were 10 years. I was accurate. In two weeks ago, I said, the way you get this recon done is you shorten the duration of the programs. Meaning you keep the program in there, you have the program pay out 100%, but you don't have the programs run 10 years, you have them run five years. 
And what does that do? It shrinks your recon from 3.5 trillion somewhere into low twos. Done. The moderate Democrats will agree to it. And we're done. Very, very simple. Here's an example. $4,000 of elder care. Well, we need to have that. We need it to be $4,000, not $200. And we need that to run this year. We need it to run next year. We need it to run the year after that. We don't have to have it run 10 years because the urgency, the immediacy, immediacy of the situation is the next few years. This year, the year after that, and maybe the year after that. We have an urgent need to get big sums of money out to people in need right now. Well, guess what? Guess who said that now? Jalapal. Uh, Jalapal repeating day after day all the things I'm saying on this channel. And she said that is what we should do. And the way you do it is you take the duration and you don't take out the program. You don't take out the program of elder care. You don't reduce it. You just shorten the duration from 10 years to, let's say, five years. Now let's go over some of the quotes that are coming in from Pelosi and Jalapal that basically discuss the same subject matter. Jalapal said... Um, uh, when asked if something, if little is better than nothing, she said no, because people have been living on little for their entire lives. We're not going to do that anymore. I love that. Uh, then Pelosi said, um, we will get the recon done because it must get done. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and she said, no climate, no deal. And so did Alex Padilla. Then Jalapal said, um, we don't have to have programs for 10 years. That's not the urgency. Pelosi saying we're going to get this done in the next few days. She said that on Tuesday. So now with a new week upon us, I think they got it done. Pelosi during that press conference on Tuesday said one of the ways, ways we get this done is by shortening the duration. <clears throat> yeah, very, very simple. Um, then we have a comment from Jalapal that basically said, we don't need the programs to run for 10 years. I mean, that's not really the focus of the situation. The focus is getting the biggest amount of money out now at a time of urgency. And Jalapal says that um, uh, we would reduce the number of years because the universality of the Benefits and the immediacy of the benefits are absolutely critical. I mean, the, we're not going to remove the benefits and we're not going re, to reduce the benefits. We'll just reduce the number of years, how long the program runs. And frankly, it's more important to us to gain these money out to the people than having it run for the entire 10 years at a smaller number. We're happy to see that Speaker Pelosi said something similar in a press conference. Yeah, so everyone's saying the same thing I'm saying, the same thing you're saying. Keep the programs, do them 100%. Shorten the duration, bring them in at five year programs, and suddenly the recon shrinks from 3.5 to two something, and we're done. It's not rocket science, it's very, very basic. Wow, <laughs> so there you go. Um, now let's turn over to the exciting details of COLA and and that and that um that uh raise of your benefits. This is an exciting one, uh, and no one really saw this coming. This COLA raise. Five to six percent is wow. This is a big one. Uh, when we were doing videos back in July and we were looking at this stimulus and how much it would raise your benefits up, we were always talking about the one time raise and then after that, the new benchmark of inflation, which I said in July would be five percent. At the moment, at that time in July, Walsh was saying two percent inflation, December three percent inflation. I said, no, 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 five percent. And I said, if we get five percent raise up in December, that would be huge. <laughs> You're getting 6%, and it's not even from fifth stimulus yet. But so wait a second. I know what you're thinking. You've been talking about a lot of stuff for people, for seniors, and you're talking about fifth stimulus. Is it one or the other? No, it's all together. Let me explain. Earlier in this video, I talked about three clusters, and some of the clusters had money in there for seniors past. Well, Bob Casey, for example, wanting to add $250 billion on top of that for seniors that's to be added on, not to replace it, to be added in there. That's all for stimulus. Let's move that aside. This stimulus is a body of legislation which would come after this. So what's going to happen? You're going to get this raise up, then you get another raise up, and you get another raise up all in one year. <sighs> yeah, so let's go over the, how this works. First, COLA is currently law. COLA, after many decades of doing much of nothing, is going up because inflation went up now. So COLA is going up 5 to 6% Social Security amounts this week. That means that your check coming in a few weeks from now will be 5 to 6% higher. That's great. But that's not the first, that's not all your lifts. That's just the first of three lifts. This stimulus proposes to raise everyone's benefits up additionally. If you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad benefits, one time, a one-time big lift. 
When would that kick in? As soon as it becomes law. So let's say this is law in February, it would kick in then. Then they're going to do a third lift, all within one year. And that third lift would be replacing COLA next year with inflation. That's huge because inflation next December is not going to be 0%. Cola could be 0%. Absolutely. Cola has been 0%, zero for many years. But inflation ain't going to be 0% next year, maybe 2%, 3%. So that means you would go up a third, it would be raised a third time, and this time would be 3%. Wow. So you're getting this raise, you're getting the one time raise in the fist stimulus, and then you're getting the new benchmark next December for 3%. They all go on top of each other. One does not replace the other. That is why this fist stimulus news is so good. And remember, every year that um, that you get that applied, that benchmark, the new benchmark, of course, is um, inflation and would replace the benchmark of COLA. Uh, the What's important to know is that there's a lot at, at issue when we look at fist stimulus, and the other items in fist stimulus, of course, are the uh, removal of the asset cap. So now you'll be able to have more than $5,000, $3,000 in hand. The removal of the income cap, that will prevent you from, that had to prevent you from working. Now you'll be able to work. And the marriage penalty is going to end. And love is going to win, and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest and no longer fear a loss of benefits. And with that, I think it's time for some third stimulus news. Oh, boy. I had told you I can get your money at the end of the week that you didn't start the week with. Two weeks ago, one viewer, Freena started the week at zero dollars. Prina started the week at zero dollars. She ended the week at six thousand dollars. What did she do? She writes, "Thank you, LA. I want to thank you when you said mentioned that about the extra thirteen billion dollars going out to the states. I immediately contacted the city of Austin. I immediately emailed them, and I got approved rent now six thousand dollars for eight months, January uh, in, into into twenty twenty two. Prina heard my recording that said, listen to uh, what I'm saying about Treasury, read the newsletter, and understand what Treasury is sending out, that $13 billion, before you call your city, county, and state, so when you call them up, you know what to ask for. Well, viewers have now heard that as well. And you've met Mark on this channel. He's the guy that got $51,000 from several items. Well, Mark last week started with $51,000. He ended the week at about $90,000. This week, ended the week at $90,000. He got $36,000 more for rent. Yeah, Mark already had gotten almost $25,000 for rent before. So this is what's happening. Get that pen, paper, cell phone ready. I'm going to show you how to get big sums of money. And if you got money before from the show, you're going to get more money. We can get rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, food, clothing, small appliances, small repairs. We're going to go over other items like um, uh, homelessness and shelter and even holiday gifts. I got all that coming up for you starting right now. First, when we get the money for rent, we're going to reach out to six places. Each place is different eligibility. They also have their own pot of money. Next, when you hear the keywords, listen to them carefully and then get ready for the nonprofits. First, here are the six places you're going to reach out to. Your city hall, your city house authority. Your county hall, your county house authority. And your state hall and your state house authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage utility assistance because of COVID. And how much are the rents going for now? Well, here you go. This is a month ago. You saw Mark at 25000 He got $36,000 on top of that. Now, everyone on that list, they should go out and pick up the phone and call again because people are getting another round of rent all across this channel. People got rent before on this channel last year, earlier this year, the summer, are going back and getting new rounds of rent. It's available, so go get it. We're not going to always see this and get as far as you can into 2022. Next, get utility assistance. So uh, if you got five utilities, reach out to all five. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $15,000. Can you imagine? Then SNAP, get SNAP. What are you doing? SNAP is money for food from Department of Agriculture. Average payment is uh, going up an average of 25% lifetime automatically starting this month. So that means Mark's brother-in-law is going from twenty one dollars to $25,000. Then get multiple sums of money. Look at these numbers, 32000 Mark, he was at this $51,000 mark. He's now upwards of thirty six, dollars uh, almost $90,000. Here's Lorraine. Uh, ooh, <laughs> sorry, Lorraine. I just hit a button there. Uh, Lorraine got this. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm just hitting wrong buttons all day today. Uh, Lorraine got this, and suddenly her benefits are going up. And there you go. Wow. Um, that's not Lorraine. 
<laughs> you see, I'm not even clicking Lorraine's button. I'm showing you this other app. Who cares? I mean, people. <laughs> uh, well, you know what Lorraine got. Lorraine got, here's Lorraine. Sorry, Lorraine. Lorraine got $106,000. People are like, who's Lorraine? I don't see Lorraine. <laughs> there you go. All right, you ready for the nonprofits? Let's get to those nonprofits. Uh, yeah, and maybe another shot of coffee would help. <laughs> <laughs> or some bacon. Yeah, maybe some bacon would help. Uh, where's my bacon? <laughs> uh, let's lean on those nonprofits. I'm going to show you five nonprofits. They have different eligibility, they have different pots of money. What's important to understand is that everything that is in third stimulus, the nonprofits also pay for, but with different eligibility. So if you have an eligibility problem and have reached out to all those six places, then lean on the five nonprofits. Meaning if you called all those six places and got all knows because of eligibility, go to the five nonprofits. And here they are. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, and St. Vincent du Paul. The next thing about the nonprofits is the nonprofits pay for items that are not in third stimulus. So they often pay have paid for viewers' this channel for furnaces, portable heaters, space heaters, refrigerators, fans. One of the common things that the nonprofits are focused on is making sure you're safe, you're warm, you're, uh, you have air, you're not, uh, you're not in, in, in fear of dying because of, of frost or non-fear of dying because of overheating. So they want to make sure you are in a comfortable environment. And that's one of the themes. One viewer had broken windows that would let the cold air in and they, broke, they fixed the broken windows. Then they help with shelter for, non, for homeless people. They'll get clothing if you can't afford clothing. Uh, and they just do a lot of different things that is just far beyond my ability to even remember all the, the great stuff they do. Also, Salvation Army is helping with holiday gifts now in the month of October, so don't wait to December. Here we go, the five nonprofits also featured in the newsletter. United Way, Salvation Army, Community Action, Catholic Charities, and St. Vincent de Paul. Finally, if you haven't become a member, what are you doing? The link is under the video. Become a member today to get the newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It features all the big money on the first, second, and third stimulus. And some of the items are proposed under fourth stimulus. Because listen, under fourth stimulus, most viewers of this channel are going to be able to get about $14,000. Most of the viewers on this channel will be able to get about $14,000 from fourth stimulus. I'm going to show you how to get it. As a member, I'm going to show you how to get this money under fourth stimulus. Under third stimulus, I had said... When it became law that I can get you about $13,000. Average viewers channel have gotten 40000 Yeah. We have Mark now approaching 90000 We have Lorraine approaching 120000 We have Johnny, 80000 His two family members, 100000 But in the case of Johnny, for example, all these other people, they didn't make one phone call. I can give you as much information as can and show you where things are, but if you don't make the phone call, you can't get the money. Johnny got $80,000 from seven items. Imagine how many phone calls he made. He didn't make seven phone calls. He probably made about 15 or 20 phone calls to get seven items approved in five, seven days. Yeah, that's really fast. But he got seven items approved. Mark the same. So make sure you keep on pushing. I have Margaret who's in the chats every day, and she always gets another few hundred dollars here, a few hundred dollars there. It's important to get all these sums of money because they're available right now. Don't sit around because it's always first come, first serve. Meantime, join me throughout the day because, boy, you saw what happened right before this video. Our overnight shows are now all about four stimulus. So from evenings LA all the way into the new morning of early mornings LA, this show, you have all overnight shows playing on this channel about four stimulus. So if you miss them, they're currently archived on the channel coming up next is overnight's crypto and then we go into evening uh into morning's countdown our hit show at 7 a.m and then i'm back live with you at 9 a.m with mornings la and the latest breaking news i want to see you on all those shows so with that subscribe 400 000 subscribers a youtube record hit that subscribe button right now like the video two three thousand likes and consider becoming a member stay informed stay focused keep on smiling jump in the live chat say hi hope the weather is good where you are stay with me all weekend long we got a lot of shows today and we got a lot of news and a lot to learn and get. Financial independence starts here. Financial freedom starts here. Stay informed, stay focused. That toast was toasting, that the butter was buttering, and the coffee was brewing. And this is Early Mornings LA. <laughs>